Okay, arithmetic. Now I'm determined to get through these questions in 15 minutes. So no messing around. Let's get straight into my screen and let's get through these questions. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go quick, but not too quick so that we get to the front. So 606 take away 100. So it's just that 100 one that's coming down one, isn't it? To five, so my answer is 506. 573 take away 60. So it's the tens, isn't it? That's seven tens. I'm taking away six tens from that. So that leaves me with one ten. So my answer is going to be 513. I forgot to start my watch. Ugh. Okay, next one. Uh, five six had five six. Now because they are both six and they got the same, I'm trying to say I can't say six because they're both six. <laughs> and uh, we can keep them the same. So five six had five six is going to be 10. Six. Then six thousand eight hundred thirty-six take away five hundred and forty-six. I'd probably use a written method for that. So six thousand eight hundred and fit. Oh, I'm gone. Six thousand eight hundred and thirty-six take away five hundred and forty-six. So six ones take away six ones is no ones. Three tens take away four tens. I'm going to need to exchange a little bit. Uh, so then I'm left with 13 tens take away four tens, which is going to be nine tens. Seven hundreds take away five hundreds is two hundreds. Then I'm left with my six thousand. Six thousand two hundred and ninety. I'm happy with that. Next one, eight times six. I mean, multiplication stuff, 48. Next one, 6.3 take away 0 0.56. It's a little bit awkward, this one, I would say. So one way of doing it is doing 6.3, take away 0 0.3, which is gonna get me to six. And then I've taken away 0 0.3, so that means I need to take away another further 0.26. So if I take away 0 0.2, that gets me to 5.8. And then take away the 0 0.06, is gonna get me to 5.74. Now we could have used the subtraction method for that, but we still end up with the same answer. Okay. Uh, happy with that. Next one. 6,010 at 509. I'm not going to use a bit of method for that because I'm adding 500 to that column and I'm adding 9 to that column. So my answer is going to be 6,500 because I've added to that. Nothing's changing in my tens and I'm adding 9 to that. So 6,519. Three and a third times by two. So when we're doing multiplying fractions, I always say, make them improper. So if I've got three and a third times by two, so first thing I'm gonna do is how many thirds are in three holes? Well, it's three times three, which is nine plus that one. So I've got 10 thirds times by two, and I'm gonna make that a fraction as well over one. And then I'm left with 20 over Three. Now, some of us might have tried to do three times two, which would get me to six, plus those. Bleh, I, I always get a bit worried about doing that kind of thing, if I'm being honest. Plus, so that, that would have got me to six doing three times two. And then a third times two would have got me to six and two thirds, which is the same as 20 over three. But I would stick to this method, okay? Whenever you see fractions and we're multiplying, make them improper and do it that way. Next one, time we are flying. Okay, so three to the power of three, or three cubed as 13. Well, three cubed means three times three times three. If we have a cubed thing, that means we times it by itself three times. So three threes are nine, times three is gonna be 27. So I'm left with 27 add 13. Well, 27 add 10 is 37, add another three. Gets me to 40. 800 times by four. Well, well, eight times four is gonna be 32. So I need to times that by 100, and if I times one of these bottom ones by 100, I times the top one by 100, so my answer's gonna be 3,200. Next one, 5,785 divided by five. So I think probably the most sensible and quickest way for this is to do the bus stamp. 
So how many fives go into that five? Well, it's one with no remainders. How many fives goes into that seven? Well, it's one and we're left with two remainders. How many fives go into 28? Well, fives go into 25, five times, and I'm left with a remainder of three. And then how many fives go into 35? And the answer is seven, 1,157. Next one, five add three times six. So as soon as I see like different operations, there's a word I need to think of. That word is board mass. So have I got any brackets? No. Have I got any orders like squared or cubed? No. Have I got any division? No. Have I got any multiplication? Yes, so I do that first. So I do this three times six bit, which is 18. Then I'll do the addition. So now I can do five at 18, which is gonna be 23. If you did it the wrong way and you did five out of three, which is eight times six, you'd have got 48, which is wrong. It is wrong. Next question, 71 times 63. So for this, we need to use like an extended column method. So I'm gonna multiply the 71 by three first. So three times one is gonna be three. And then three times those seven tens is gonna be 21 tens, which gives me 213. Now I'm going to multiply the 71 by 60. But because it's a 60, everything's going to be a column higher. So I need to put my placeholder in here. So I'm going to do those six tens times by one, which leaves me the six tens. Then I'm going to do those six tens times by those seven tens, which is going to leave me with 42 hundredths. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to add those two together. I'm left with three ones seven tens, four hundreds, and four thousands. Then, uh, I'm pretty confident that that's right. Then I'm left with this big division. Now division one's on this test. That's so far been pretty horrible, but we'll give it a go. So I'm dividing by a two digit number, so I need to use my key facts. So times by 17 times by two is gonna equal 34. So 17 times by four is gonna be double that, which is gonna be 68. 17 times by 10 is gonna equal 170. So 17 times by five is gonna be half of that. Well, half of that is 50 and half of that is 35. So that's 85. And now I'm gonna take away lots of 17 from 3,450. One. Well, this is actually going to be quite quick. So 34, if I times that by 10, it would get me to 340. If I times that by 100, it would get me to 3,400. So what I'm going to do is take away 3,400, which because two lots is 34, that must be 200 lots. With 51. Then I could take away those 34, which is going to be two lots. One take away four, I can't do so I'm going to exchange. And that leaves me with a 17, so I just take away another one lot. Oh, this one's been much easier than the others. Gets me to zero, so I've taken away 203 lots. So my answer is 203. Next question. Two and three quarters add four fifths. So first thing I want to do, let me try the question. Two and three quarters add four fifths. Now I know the denominators are different, so we're gonna to have to sort that out in a minute. But first, I don't want mixed numbers. I want improper. So how many quarters are in two holes? Well, it's four times two, which is eight, plus those three. So I've got 11 quarters add four fifths. Now at this point, I need to find a denominator that I can make both of these. And the quickest one to do is to do it over 20. There's something over 20, add something over 20. And to do that, I go, how have I got from that four to that 20? Well, I've multiplied it by five. So that means I need to multiply the numerator by five, which gets me to 55. Then how have I got from that five to that 20? I've multiplied it by four, which means I need to multiply the numerator by four. So four times uh, four is 16. So then I'm left with 55 20 so that's 16 20 so 55 add 10 is gonna be 65, plus six is gonna get me to 71 over 20. 
and that's my answer. Now, uh, for uh, fifths divided by three. So again, I want in proper fractions, so I'm gonna say four fifths divided by three over one. And then when we're defined in fractions, we need to think of dodgy KFC, which is KCF. So I'm gonna keep the first fraction the same, so four fifths, change the division to a multiplication, and then flip that around so I'm left with a third. So four times one is gonna be four, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator is gonna be 15. My answer is four fifteenths. And then last question, and I am flying, gonna have loads of time. 6.03 times a thousand. So hopefully we wrote 6.03. And then if we're timesing it by a thousand, we are moving it this way, because everything's gonna go into a bigger column and we're moving it three steps. So one, two, three, write it underneath. One, two, three, write it underneath. One, two, three, write it underneath. And then in my place, my gap, I'm gonna put a zero place over. So my answer is 6,030. Now, loads of time to spare. Never mind doing it in less than 15. I'm about to do it in less than, uh, Ah, oh, nearly less than him. 11. 11 in a little bit. Okay, you're six. Uh, send a photo in, and then I can see how you got on today. Okay, goodbye.